Hey y'all, it's Fortune Frankly and welcome to Fortune Frankly Fridays where we do DIY home decor and more. This video is coming out on Saturday, but you know, that's just a minor detail that we don't have to worry about. Had a busy week, didn't have enough time to edit this video, so it's Saturday. In today's video, we're making DIYs for the Gemini. This video is part of my DIY the Zodiac series. I've already done Aries and Taurus and we're on to Gemini. Geminis are known for their adaptability, their curiosity, and certainly not for being two-faced. Some famous Geminis include Chris Evans, Prince, Marilyn Monroe, and of course, me. Now I can go on and on about Geminis forever, but I'll give you some negative traits here just to, you know, balance things out. Geminis are known for frequently changing their mind to the point of being very fickle, a tendency to start too many projects and not complete any, and sometimes being duplicitous, aka two-faced, to get what they want. Not speaking from any first-hand experience on this, obviously, I just, you know, read some stuff online. So, we'll be making three simple DIYs that your Gemini friends, family, or maybe you yourself would love. Let's get started. For project number one, we're gonna be making some rings. Now, if you couldn't already tell, I actually really do love rings. I know you see them in every video, but I thought I'd just make some more to have, you know, a little collection. For this project, you'll need wire and wire cutters and a lipstick tube. Starting with the wire, we're just gonna roll some out. I'm gonna take like a ruler's length, which is a foot, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I'm just gonna fold the wire in half and wrap it around that tube of lipstick. Then I'm just gonna keep twisting that wire so it creates this kind of rope-like effect. I'm gonna snip off the ends and then twist that wire into a kind of coiled shape. And just for your information, I am a size eight ring and my ring finger is empty. I'm gonna cut off a little bit more just to make this more manageable and smaller. And then tuck the end of the wire into that ring to take this down a notch from brass knuckles to a cute and safe accessory. Unless, you know, that's what you're looking for. I'm also gonna make another version of this, this time using a thinner gold wire. This time I'm gonna twist it up before wrapping it around that lipstick tube. I'm gonna pull it through the loop that we made and again wrap it around that lipstick tube. Now you can use something other than a lipstick tube. This is just kind of what I had on hand. It's roughly the circumference of my finger, particularly my thumb and my index finger, but you can find something that closely matches the size of your own fingers. And there you have it. For project numero dos, we're making a luggage tag. Now, a love of travel is not at all limited to Geminis, but it is really frequently associated with the Gemini zodiac sign. It really does go hand in hand with being curious about the world around you. For this project, you'll need some cardstock, laminate paper, eyelets or grommets, jute cord, and an account on Canva. Starting with Canva, I'm gonna open it up and actually find a kind of template for a luggage tag. I'm just gonna be modifying this template instead of coming up with my own. Since I am gonna be printing this on cardstock, I decided to make everything black. I'm gonna make the front really simple and then make the back kind of resemble that original template, just so that it stands out against the brown paper. And just in case you were wondering, the F stands for Fortune Frankly Fridays. Y'all don't think I was gonna give you my government name, right? Okay. I'm gonna make sure to print it double-sided and then cut out the tag to the size that I want it. Now I'm gonna laminate it. This is a self-adhesive kind of laminate that doesn't require any thermal energy, AKA heat. 
So I'm just gonna lay it on the sticker part, smooth the top piece down, and then cut it out to size, leaving a little bit of a border around the edge of our cardstock. Now I'm gonna punch a hole with my scissors at the top so that we have a place to loop our jute cord through. But before we do that, we're gonna add a grommet. I'm gonna push one side of the grommet through. I'm gonna put the back end of the piece and hammer it down so that it locks into place. Listen, I didn't choose to invest in the grommet tool. I didn't see it. I didn't wanna go looking for it. So, you know, I tapped into the Gemini skills of adaptability and I used my hammer instead. Then I'm gonna take a long piece of jute cord, knot it up, heat it up, and then put it through my grommet. And there you have it, a luggage tag. Our third and final project we are making a bookmark now it's pretty common across the board that Gemini's love to read so we're gonna make a bookmark to add to the collection of bookmarks they probably already have and already using for this project you'll need a strip of leather a rotary tool and some grommets Starting with our strip of leather, before I use the rotary tool, I'm actually going to use this carving pen to make the outline of where I want my design to be. I'm going to be doing a sun, like with rays and stuff. And then using my rotary tool, I'm just going to carve into the leather. And just a tip here, if you don't want to buy real leather, you can always buy faux leather. Or as an alternative, you can also buy recycled leather. And then I'm gonna kind of shade in the actual core of the sun part. I'm gonna make a hole at the top of this one to put my grommet through, hammer it down, you know the drill. And I'm gonna make a tassel out of this jute cord. Now I have another video on making tassels where I made like a thousand of them. Okay, it wasn't a thousand, but it felt like it. It was a lot. But I showed in depth in that video how to make tassels, so I'll leave it linked up here. I'm gonna loop it at the top, cut the tassels to a uniform length, and loop it through my grommet. And there you have it, a brand new bookmark. Welcome back. Now I really like all of these DIYs. They were all pretty simple, but it did take me some time to think of these ideas over the past couple of months just to make sure I got Gemini's down right because I should probably be an expert on them. My favorite DIY though was that bookmark, mainly because it's the most useful to me right now. I actually was in need of more bookmarks, but it looks really cute and it's kind of something you would see on like Etsy, you know, leather bookmark fancy. <laughs> but I'm curious to know what was your favorite project and which one would you actually want to try out? It makes me really excited to see that y'all are actually trying these DIYs out. If you're feeling lucky, you can go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And if you're not feeling lucky, I'm so sorry, but I hope to see you again in the near future. I hope everyone is staying safe out there. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>